Ready. Thank 
What? What?
I'm here. Interjection. One moment. I believe I understood that, Master. It may not have been his intention, but he did actually communicate something. Cautionary. I am unsure, Master. Now is not the time for speculation, however. I will attempt to address your question later. Translation. <laughs> Result. I believe I have succeeded in confusing him, Master. We have shown an interest not common among outsiders. Translation. Cautionary. Not the most productive of results, Master. Your threat will be answered in the same manner, happily. Preparing blasters. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm here. Thank <laughs> you. 
Just so happens I've got one here. Anything else? I'm sorry for the way I acted before. It's just that when it comes to Lena, I tend to get a little worked up. My brother and me had a good thing going. Sure, Griff had his run-ins with the law on Terrace, but we got by okay, until Lena came and ruined everything. She was a dancer at the cantina where my brother used to go play Pazic. Griff could be a real smooth talker, 
and it wasn't long before the two of them were dating. But Lena was used to dating rich Theresian nobles, guys with mountains of credits. Griff could never give her the lifestyle she was used to, no matter how hard he worked. I thought Lena would brush Griff off when she saw how poor he was, but for some reason, she stuck around. I guess she saw the potential for a big payday down the road. I saw Lena for what she really was, a busty, credit-grubbing cantina rat. She used Griff and took away the only family I had. After they'd been together for a few months, Griff told me he was leaving Terrace. He and Lena were gonna try and make their fortune off-world. He promised as soon as he made enough credits, he'd come back and get me, and we'd all live like royalty. That was two years ago. I haven't seen him since. I don't even know where he went. Oh, I know what happened. As soon as she got him off Taurus, Lena sunk her claws into Griff but good. She twisted him around her little finger and made him forget all about me. I know I'll probably never see Griff again. Part of the reason I came with you was the hope that I could find out what happened to my brother. Don't worry. I won't let the search for Griff get in the way of what we're doing. Let's just get back to the task at hand. Is there anything else I can help you with? Okay. Yeah, what do you want? You want another war story, huh? You want to hear about some other world getting wasted, eh? I knew you were the type. Your stagnant republic has never seen some of the strange creatures and races we fought on the Outer Rim in those years. <laughs> and you never will now. If a world isn't strong enough to defend itself, it's basically forfeit. But this story is about something a little different. We were going through the asteroid fields of the Crispin system at the very edge of the galaxy, playing with the pirates and smugglers we found there. The main belt in the Crispin system consists of mainly small rocks covered in frozen methane gas shells, and the pirates were using them for cover. Ha! <laughs> I remember using a thermal generator to cause the outer layer of one of the asteroids to vaporize in a picosecond. It blew out and shredded the three smugglers using it for cover. But that was a mistake. The asteroid I had targeted was smaller than most, maybe a dozen meters on a side. On the outside, it looked the same as any other. Just a ball covered in frozen gas. But something must have been inside it. Something inactive in the cold. The heat of my blast might have triggered something, or woken something up. After I'd hit it, spots of light and heat appeared all over the thin shell, still covering it, evaporating the gases. What lay underneath looked like some sort of rocky growth. A deformed rock, pitted by scores of micrometeorite scars. I think something even older might have been inside that. Maybe, but maybe not. It started rotating faster and faster as we watched it. After a second, it started spraying fire, thermal projectiles that melted our armor like wax. We were caught completely by surprise. Before we could counterattack, it fled at an incredible speed. 
We couldn't catch it, but we could follow its hyperspace wake. We followed its trail as far as we could, heading away from the galactic core. When it finally led beyond the edge of our galaxy, we abandoned our efforts. Anything that wants to commit suicide in that great void is not worth our trouble trying to catch. That's the only story I have for now. I'll tell you some more stuff later if we get the chance. Is there something else you... <laughs> Stimul... Here's a stamina boost. There any... Your... Statement. HK-47 is ready to serve, Master. Statement. I know some elements of my functionality, Master, but not all. Answer. There have been numerous repairs and tampering made to my system, Master. Several systems are not operating as they should be. The fact that my memory is incomplete may be due to meatbag incompetence, or something else I am unaware of. Observation. I am sure you are aware of the majority of my skills, Master. I can handle various sorts of heavy weaponry with ease. My physical abilities are well above those of your average meatbag, as are my sensor functions. An assassin, if you would. Caution, shh, master. Such a function in a droid is highly illegal. Commentary. Good, for I would truly hate to be turned into spare scrap, master. That would be a waste of my genius engineering. Answer. My assassination functions are currently non-functional, having been deactivated by the meatbag Yukalaka on Tatooine. Were they functional, you as my master would be able to specify a target, and I would operate independently to the best of my ability to terminate it. Answer. I have no way of knowing that, master. My memory has been deleted, remember? Answer. Some of my motor functions can be safely repaired, master. But anything in relation to my memory core is extremely sensitive. I have safeguards installed to protect that core that I cannot deactivate. It is not impossible that other, lesser memory functions could be restored, however. Answer. You may attempt to restore portions of my deleted memory, Master, but some skill at... The deeper functions of my core memory, however, would still be unadvisable to tamper with. Conjecture. It is possible that some external stimulus might result in the memory core... As you... Oh! <laughs> 